I've been asked uh, several times this year how 2009 has compared with 1992. And um, I would say that we were that close to a 1992. September really was what saved us. Uh, but yet at the same time, we're seeing uh, some very, very poor grain quality, high moisture uh, grain. And again, it goes back to when frost came, when planting date came, um, or when we, when we planted the crop. Very, very small differences in a day or two made a huge difference in terms of the overall outcome, in terms of grain quality. Here you see um, a hybrid that has Again, it was nipped by the frost. You see that you don't have complete milk line. Uh, a lot of milky starch um, or mil milky sugars here in the kernel. And that resulted in very, very poor test weight. I know the Sanilac County growers uh, suffered that as, with, as did most of uh, Michigan growers north of uh, uh, you know, 46. Uh, poor, poor test weights, uh, somewhere in the 40, high 40s, low 50s, high moisture. Um, the thing that we're not seeing too is with, a little frustrating. We're not seeing as the grain dries down, um, or as I'm drying the grain, we're not seeing a, a big increase in test weight. If I can let it dry in the field, I'll get a little bit of an increase in test weight, not a lot. Um, our test weights are really poor this year, however, and, and it goes back to uh, maturity, it goes back to planting date. Uh, we were quite wet when we planted. We ended up seeing uh, some poor planting conditions and again that resulted in a slower growing crop. Um, so that's kind of a wrap up of the year. We're starting to nose into 36V53. High yielding 102 day hybrid. Um, really, really good drought tolerance, does well under uh, variable soil types, sort of a favorite of mine. The 36V53 has good stress emergence, uh, comes out of the ground really strong, establishes a stand well, very high yielding, it actually has uh, some good traits for uh, uh, silage as well. So we'll see what she yields. P0125HR, brand new pea product. The P0125HR is a really new high yield level, um, has good agronomics, uh, good stability under uh, droughty soils. This product uh, has a potential to be uh, perhaps one of our leading selling early, early 100 day hybrids. Harvesting 37Y14. This hybrid has a uh, Herculex 1 for protecting it against uh, European corn borer as well as uh, Western bean cutworm. As, it also has the Herculex RW, which is the rootworm protection. Um, so this is fully loaded. It's been a very good yielding, very consistent product. Um, does well across variable soil types, has really good drought tolerance, um, has been a, a lead product in, uh, across the state. We'll see how she does. Starting to nose into P9990. P9990 
9990XR. Brand new hybrid, the XR indicates that it has the triple stack, so it has protection for corn borer and western bean cutworm, as well as uh, below ground uh, rootworm uh, protection from corn rootworm. Um, new hybrid, we'll just have to see how she does. And uh, has good agronomic package, good dry down. Um, in research, it, it had pretty high yield. We'll, we'll uh, see what the results are. We just started to harvest Pioneer 38A57, uh, relatively new hybrid. And this product has uh, really fit well into the early uh, market. It's about a 96, 97 day hybrid. And I, I guess one of the features I really like about 38 A57 is its grain quality. Um, it, it's a, high, a good high yielder, but the grain quality is exceptional. Probably will be the highest grain quality as measured by test weight uh, in the plot that we harvest today. starting to nose into P9512XR. Uh, fairly tall uh, for an early hybrid. Uh, this is a PhD product that um, could be used as an early silage hybrid. Uh, the 9512XR, uh, the P95 X, P9512XR is a triple, so it has protection both above and below ground for insects. Um, well, early data shows it to be uh, pretty high yielding, and again, we'll just have to see how it performs here. Here we are harvesting Pioneer 38M60. 94-day hybrid, triple stack. Um, it's been a pretty solid, consistent early hybrid for us. The 38M60 has really nice grain quality. Uh, this year it sort of separated itself from a lot of other hybrids because, it's, because of its grain quality, the higher test weight. And it's it's been quite dry too for a 94-day hybrid. Starting to nose into another new, relatively new hybrid. This is P9380XR. Uh, it'd be a 93-day hybrid with a fully loaded uh, triple stack. Uh, looks like it's got really good standability. Um, this will be a nice early addition to our uh, package. So far, the early data suggests that it's uh, going to be somewhat higher yielding than the uh, 38M60. Uh, not as good a grain quality, not as good as test weight, uh, but, but very sound agronomics, uh, good high yielding hybrid. And finally, the last hybrid in the plot is a new P number. This is P8917, a fairly early hybrid. I don't expect it to compete with some of the later ones, but you know we're always testing the early ones just to see uh, uh, where they fit in the scheme of things. You know, some growers need a little bit earlier product. Um, this is also a triple stack. Um, so it's, it's a, again a new one that we're evaluating. 